I just went and keep fishing down at, on the Mornington Peninsula into fairly heavy winds, slightly overcast day, so sort of mid afternoon, rising tide. Um, probably I had to do a voiceover on this through this video just simply because the, the wind is going to muffle all the sound. I was using a couple of quiver tip rods and the tips are what indicate that the fish are biting. So as soon as I saw that movement, I waited and then struck into the fish. Well, after getting a few nice hits, just landed this guy here. Nice fish. That was with the burly going in and with the spicy chicken as bait on a size 14 hook. So the small hook caught, the bigger hooks on my other rod, uh, the bait was being pulled off. But not on this one, the spicy chicken did it. I was using prawn and I was using pippy on the larger hooks and on the heavier rod. So I had one rod with heavier line in there. That's the rod that I usually have out there hoping that something big would come along. Well, unfortunately I wasn't getting the bigger fish coming through on that rod. What was happening, I was getting little pickers little smaller fish who were picking at the bait and because it's fairly soft the prawn and the pippy were coming off so I changed both rods then to using the chicken the spicy chicken uh, to help improve my chances Another nice brim, two nice brim and a go. How's that? On small hook with the burly and spicy chicken. There you go. The amazing thing with this one is the line went slack. It actually swam in. So I was reeling in. I felt no resistance whatsoever. I thought the line had been broken off. And then all of a sudden I got the fight. So this one came into shore. Interesting. Not bad for today. Now the, the rig that really got the fish today uh, was this one here which is just a, a 60 gram burly cage. That's my sinker if you like. It's got lead on it. It weighs 60 grams and uh, that was heavy enough to be able to cast out against the wind um, with a line stop holding it in place. Whoops. Line stop down to quite a long distance down to what I found is I went from size 14 to size 12 size 12 hook and the size 12 was the right size so it's small hooks to catch those fish but I think it was the light line and the smaller gear and the way it probably more naturally reacted in the water that got the fish but that's what did it today now if you're interested in the burly that I was using my bright hard burly have a look at my website howtofish.com.au 
Billy Cage is the Dare 2 and some of the wrecks. Have a look.